Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to explain design and simulation of a buck converter in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it, only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. So this is the circuit diagram of a buck converter. It is basically a DC to DC converter, which is, reduce, which is used to reduce the amount of output voltage with respect to the supply terminals. So the working of buck converter is already done in one of our previous videos. It will be available in the end screen. In, in case you would like to see how a buck converter works, you can also refer to that so we'll only look at the design and simulation of a buck converter in PSIM so what are the design procedure so every design starts up with certain assumptions so these are the assumptions or the requirements for our circuit we are uh, designing it for an output voltage of 15 volt and supply voltage of 48 volt resistance value chosen is 8 ohm and switching frequency is 40 kilohertz so our first step is to determine the duty ratio how do we do that we do it by the formula D is equal to V out by Vs substituting you will be getting 31.25 percent next step is to determine the inductance value the inductance value is given by the formula 1 minus d into r by 2f substituting you will be getting 68.75 micro henry but assuming 25 percent larger inductance just to make the current to be continuous in the circuit so you will be getting 85.93 micro henry however we can round off to 85 micro henry as well Next step is to determine the capacitance value. The capacitance value can be found out by the formula C is equal to 1 minus D by ATL delta V out by V out into F square. So I am uh, designing it for a ripple less than to be equal to 5%. You can design it for suitable ripple according to your requirement. So now substituting you will be getting 125 microfarad. So these are the values that we are going to substitute in our circuit. And uh, one of the most uh, important uh, and confusing steps, people ra uh, do a lot of mistakes with respect to this step. So what is that? So how do we uh, input the values for a gating block so gating block is used in order to trigger the switches that are used so mosfet will be used and how do we trigger that so gating block is required but how do we enter the uh, duty ratio because in gating block we have it in degrees and how do we convert this duty ratio in terms of degrees that is one of the most important steps so 100 percent duty cycle corresponds to 360 degrees uh, how much does 31.25 percent correspond to cross multiply 31.25 into 360 divided by 100 will give you 112.5 degrees so this is the value that we have to enter in the gating block and that is how we will be able to simulate simulate this particular circuit over there all right let's go to uh, pcm and start us so here we are in pcm so uh, the blocks that we want uh, we'll uh, start off with uh, selecting them we will be requiring a dc voltage source so just uh, drag and drop them and you will be able to uh, have them over here in the space so once this is done uh, we will be requiring uh, a switch so we'll be using mosfet as a switch so connect it in this particular fashion we will also be requiring uh, a diode which is here so you can uh, rotate it by right clicking your mouse uh, so one of the most important things you can have this uh, number of uh, important components you can have them here handy so that you can directly use them over here so once this is added we will be requiring an inductor so uh, copy paste that and once that is done we will be requiring a capacitor rotate that uh, by right clicking your mouse and once that is done we will also require a resistor so we will be connecting it in this particular fashion now we will be using this in in order to connect the circuit components in this particular fashion so uh, be very careful while connecting uh, these terminals so I will be uh, placing this slightly down and uh, this will be connected in this particular fashion so once this is done uh, the remaining portion of the circuit according to our circuit diagram is connected and uh, the resistive load is used and it is connected across the capacitor so overall we need to connect this back uh, to the source in this particular fashion so i'm basically completing the circuit with respect to our circuit diagram so once that is done uh, our first step is to enter the values uh, we are choosing our supply voltage to be equal to 48 volts so enter that and uh, cl uh, close it and once that is done uh, we are using a mosfet so uh, we are are using an inductor whose value is uh, 85 micro henry so enter 85 u and that is more than enough for it to input the values uh, a capacitor of 125 uh, micro farad is used so 125 micro is entered and resistance of 8 ohm is used so enter 8 and click on ok and once that is done uh, now we will have to uh, input the gating pulses like we have to trigger the mosfet so this is one of the most important aspects for the entire circuit so double click on this and the switching frequency according to our design is 40,000 uh, hertz that is 40 kilohertz 
so number of points let it be two now uh, as i told you 112.5 we have to enter but it does not accept decimal values so we'll be entering 113 here and once that is done click on uh, close window and uh, now we have to measure the input voltage so prominently we only want to measure the input and output voltage in this case so in case you want the other parameters you can connect uh, the ammeters and voltmeters in series ammeters in series and voltmeters across the terminals where you want to measure so again we'll use this block and connect it between these two points in this particular fashion so we need another block uh, like this so control C control V and uh, we will be uh, connecting it at the output terminals over here so once that is done we have entered all the parameters uh, so one of the most important blocks is the simulation control that basically uh, uh, has the control of the total runtime of your simulation process so it is uh, having a default value over here so you can basically choose it to be equal to 1 uh, one into 10 power minus 6 as well. So it depends on the total runtime that you want it to. So it varies from circuit to circuit and uh, it also depends on uh, how you want to simulate it. So now once this is done, let us click on run simulation. So it does take some time for the simulation to take place. So let's uh, wait for some time. Once it's, uh, the simulation has run, it will show you this particular window. You will have to add the blocks that you want to see the output waveform for and click on OK. And once this is done, let us uh, uh, make this into full screen mode. If you see, this is the output voltage, uh, supply voltage, 48 volt which we have supplied and this is the output voltage which is exactly 15 volt. So one important thing to note in PCM is that the components uh, that are here are ideal components. If you see, there is no drops across these components. So you have to get the exact value of the output voltage. Whereas in MATLAB and all those uh, other compilers or other softwares that are used uh, in order to uh, get the uh, analysis done, it has uh, practical components like there will be drop across the MOSFET switches. Uh, so uh, the threshold voltage will be there by default. So in case you would like to uh, simulate the circuit in MATLAB, it is already done. You can watch that video. It will be available in the end screen. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks so much.